So now what I do is, okay, I will do something here. Okay, I have farmer name. Okay, and I will create five fields or four fields. Okay, farmer details I will create. So see here, I'm going to the table. It may take little time, but I'm doing uh, slowly just to monitor. Okay, so going to the table, creating four fields. So farmer, okay, farmer name is the reference field. It is already there. Maybe I can say farmer first name. So it's a string. Okay, max length is uh, maybe just keep 50. So maybe you can also say read only because I don't want to edit it. Right? So farmer first name came and then uh, farmer last name. Okay, again this one also I am making at 50 only. I am making read only only because we are auto populating it and I, we don't want to allow others other users to change them that is the reason i'm making a uh, dictionary level uh, read only okay then okay it's changed go to table and then farmer manager let's say it is farmers there would be no managers but i'm just keeping for our uh, practical purpose okay uh, first name last name maybe farmer email id or contact number but i email id i'll take it This one also I don't want to make it change editable. Let me submit it. Okay, and farmers manager. And it's a reference field. Okay. And you can also keep this one also this one and uh, it is coming the data the data is coming from user table so that we know so I'm pointing it. <clears throat> okay, now go to the form, refresh it and align them properly. Okay, so here it, we got all of them here. So configure form layout. Okay, and then get them after farmer. Farmer location is not required. You can keep it anyway, it's fine. Okay, so see here now farmer first name, farmer last name, farmer uh, email ID, farmer manager it came and the expectation here is when I do okay the farmer selection first name, last name, middle name, email ID manager should come automatically. Okay, so earlier we seen in client side scripting we seen like how to use it like get reference of farmer name and set value of this one, 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 everything you can say. Okay, it will work but it is not a good practice because you are calling the data from server side so the same thing okay we sh we do using script include this is a simple example but using script include you will do beyond very deep level okay we can also see one more example okay so same thing how you do using script include i am telling till this point everyone clear ma yes no please acknowledge yes, yes sir. so script include i am creating a script include going to script include page okay and i want to create one uh, client script also because i need to call it so see here first i will call okay i'll just create a sc client script here okay just in it either is fine okay let me create it first and then execute and then see how it is working because this is client script and this is script include I will execute first ma'am because I am not writing everything but I will explain everything from scratch. Okay. It saves our little time. Okay. So script include is a global function. I am not only writing for this particular client script but I can write a global function. So user details I will name it as. Okay. So in order to get user details maybe I can remove some space here. Okay. 
so in <coughs> i am creating a script include right and the did this fun this uh, class like function and class it we will be call it as right so this is a global function and from now onwards wherever i want to use to get the auto user details populated i can use this class and functions so this is like global the scope of this script include is global and you can call from n number of places okay so see here and i'll write this code maybe we need to um, no this is not script include this is client script this is script include here right so from here let me see okay uh, yes so here user details is our class under user details i am i am writing a function called get user details okay script include itself is a class okay and under that class class is a collection of functions Okay, the example that we seen on that day, na shopping and uh, different different shoppings. Shopping is the class, and what you are buying is the separate function. Okay, so in the function, I am writing some four lines of code. Okay, can you just read these four lines of code and then tell me what exactly it is doing? This one from line number seven to line number uh, maybe fifteen. Can someone tell me, ma? So it's uh, we make a new object of a user table. Yeah, we are going and, to use a table mm -hmm. and uh, applying a filter. Sysid. Yeah, sysid mm -hmm. with sysid ma matching with something. Okay, x mm -hmm. and then getting the user and finding the user and printing return. Return means first printing it. Uh, gr first name. Okay, there is a simple gr last name. There is a simple gr manager. There is a simple gr email. Okay, so. The output is something like if it is okay. Let's say there is a user account called Mahendra underscore Sar. Okay, let me let me take this one. Okay, instead of Mahendra, let's take like this. Okay, so it will return first name Abraham. Okay, and we have a symbol here with a space. Okay, Lincoln second name, last name sorry. Okay, and then symbol. Okay, and then gr dot manager gr dot manager is this guy's society okay let's say this is a society and then gr dot email gr dot email means this one <clears throat> okay so the output of this particular function is this one this is the one if we pass abraham lincoln as user this code is fine what i defined in the script include is fine ma so the script include always write okay or written the text and here the text would be something like this one i will get the text like this the output is this one we will see ma okay what it will print i will show you but this <coughs> this lines you got it right yes sir everyone please acknowledge yes sir yes yeah maybe whoever not practiced the glide record they don't understand that's for sure but Whoever practiced Glide record, they will easily understand because it's such a simple script. Okay, clear. So see here, I created a class. Under that class, I created one function. Okay, get user details. In that function, I am writing some server side code. The output of the server side code is whatever you pass the user here x, it will get you the details and print in this format. This is what the function is doing. Shall I take yes from here? Everyone, please confirm. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. So we created a script include, okay, with this one. Script include created. Step number one. Okay. Step number two. So the script include output is.
No, here global dot user details is a class name. Class ma, yeah, Cl class. Okay. Uh, by itself, uh, it's created <coughs> now. Once it. we give the that. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah. We, I just given user underscore user details and it came automatically global dot user details. Okay. Okay. No. no. Uh, one more. This uh, return keyword is uh, used to uh, display return, that output now. Return is the. It is returning something. What it is returning is the text. The text is this one. So okay. the output of this function is this text. This text. Okay, you can keep n. Okay. This text you can keep n number of attributes. Like you can print gr dot something, gr dot something. All user attributes you can you can print here. So you are getting the data. This is getting the data from server and how you will use it in client side. That is your requirement. Okay. I will tell you, ma. You, once we okay. create the client okay. script, it will be more clear. So I am ending here. Script include is created. Now, what is our requirement? When I change this field name, then it should come automatically, right? <clears throat> so what type of client script we do? On change. On change. On change. On change. Right. So user details population. Okay. On this farmer table. You can select anything here order you can mention anything okay and then type is very important on change and then what it is on change of what farmer underscore name okay and then here you need to write a code okay so the code what we need to write here is I am writing something here which will looks little odd but we will try Okay, so see here, I written like this. Okay, don't confuse, it is very simple. Okay, so, hmm. okay. Right, okay, ma. So we need to do some changes here, but first see what it is doing. Okay, on change of farmer name, maybe, okay, you can see now clearly, right? I think one extra this one came yeah you can see the code clearly ma so I am I am hiding all this pain okay we don't require all this pain right so I'm making this one be little bigger to see show more more clearer so this is the code right everyone yes, sir. yeah so see here on change of this field okay I am setting the value of these four fields right so see if you see client script G form set value of you first name, you last name, you manager, you email ID. You are setting some values. This is your final output, final action. Okay. But what you are setting is we need to understand. Okay. So see here, first thing is I took a variable. The variable is something called ABC. Okay. G form get value I am using, not I am not using get reference. Okay, if I take get reference, what it will print? If I take get value, what it will print? Ma? Just tell me what get value will print, what get reference will print? Behind. Value of behind yeah. that field now. Value now. What does the. If you use the get value, like? it will display the behind the value of that field. What is the behind the value? Like we have the values of choices now. Okay, like so get the value of farmer name, what it will print? Sys ID, I think. So. Yes. Display. It's a Sys ID. Display. Sys ID, Sys ID. If it is a reference field, it prints the Sys ID. Yes. Yeah, got it. Right, if it is a get reference, it will take the object. Yes, object. Yes. Okay, so now I took this one. Now I, I know what farmer name it is. Okay. The farmer name is coming in ABC. This is the first line. Okay. Our purpose is do not use get reference. Okay. So get value. So here you are getting farmer name is ID. Farmer is ID. Okay. Now immediately what you are doing is you are taking a variable where GA you can take any name. Okay. New Glide Ajax of global this script include name so our script include name is this one okay so now 
I am calling a script include from client script. Why I am calling, I will tell you. Okay. So let's try to understand. Hmm. So this is same like glide record of incident table. Okay, the format structure. Okay. New where GA equal to new glide as X of okay. This, this is the class, the class R script include. This is the first line. Okay. The first line is clear, ma. Just bear for some time, okay, because I am randomly explaining, but it will be aligned properly. Okay, I, I took a variable get value of farmer name. I have this CID. I kept a side, I am not touching it. Immediately, I am going to the Glide Ajax. Glide Ajax is a API that will be useful to call a script include from client side. So, I am calling a script include. What is a script include? Okay, script include name is this one. Okay, so I am using this here where GI equal to new glide ajax of the script include name or a class name. Is that clear? Line number eight. Yes, I know. Ah. Yeah. In this script include, okay, script include or a class is the collection of multiple functions. Okay. Functions are multiple functions, however, you can define. So now let's say I have 10 functions here. Okay. Get user details, get location details, get cap details, get something, get incident details, get power, whatever it is. There are so many functions. Okay. What I want to make use of is, I want to make use of this function, get user details function. So, the next line, okay, is GA. GA means what now? The class add param. Okay. This is the standard structure mark. This param name equal to get user details, the function name. The function that you want to call, you need to use this second line. It's like kind of add query in glide record, but maybe you can you can just al align like that. Okay, gr new glide record of incident table and then add add query of maybe some function name equal to the function name something. Okay, so class you have it and then function you have it. So with these two lines, you are initial you are getting touched with this one. You came here and then you came here. Right? Line number nine is clear. Yes, sir. Yes. Till this point, everyone clear, ma? Yes, no? My add param is used to call the. This is kind uh, of add query, ma? From server to. This is okay. a, Yeah, this is a kind of add query. Yes, to call the function, yes. If I say to call okay. the function again, add param here, it is there. This is not a function. So don't exactly uh, take that sentence, but yes, it's like an add query. Just use like add query. That's it. Okay. Okay. Right. This till this point, line number nine, everyone clear, ma? This is one part. The next part is very important. Sir, can you uh, once again explain the second line, sir? Okay. And show the uh, script include. Uh, okay, ma. Script uh, include, see here, the class name is this one and the function name is this one. Get user details. Okay, ma. Please acknowledge, ma. Yes, yes, yeah. sir. So I am calling this function. If I call this function, the output of the function is this one. I want this output. Because of that, I am calling this function. Let's say under this class, you have 100 functions. Okay, I will show you one more script include where it will be having multiple functions, but you may use only one function. So the class and the function you are using. So see here, user details is the class, get user details is the function, right? So if you come to script, uh, the client script, Ajax of user details, it's a class. Okay, and then add param, get user details is the function. Okay. Okay, so everyone till this point clear? Now, forget about this line. I'm just going to, okay, here. See here. I have, this function is very simple. Sorry, ma. Okay, I'm, I didn't mean to <laughs> stop you to ask the questions, but please bear for some time, okay? So, see here. If you see this function, okay, this line number 7 to line number 12, you have everything, but you don't know X, right? Agree? Yes, sir. 
okay yes. so yes. if you have x then you can control you can get everything so only input is x right and the x is where the x is coming from is okay line number 5 where x you only defined a variable you can take x or you can uh, take xyz or you can take anything okay but this is the variable that you defined here okay so you took a variable called xyz and you are passing to sys id equal to xyz now what is xyz so you need to come here xyz equal to this this is kind of current current dot okay this get param get parameter of sys param usr you can give any name here okay i will give uh, class 15 okay so xyz we need this is what we are querying where xyz equal to this get param of class 15 now what is class 15 if you know class 15 then we know everything from scripting cloud side so is that clear from this page level we know we need only what is class 15 agree you are getting that class 15 and then you are passing to xyz and you are uh, using the xyz to query the database of user table and then getting the data so only thing is what is class class 15 agree ma yes sir yes sir yeah if any questions please raise in this part i am in scripting cloud part clear ma okay now like can you let me know that uh, get parameter ma get param get param like see we are using this na this yes and get param like you are getting a parameter of this particular scripting cloud okay this me this this particular line will uh, help you to interact between client side and server side i will i will just okay. tell you ma okay this get param okay. just to keep it okay but we need class 15 right 